Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, guys, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. So guys, it appears as though Timothy Chalamet may have ditched Kylie Jenner again and is still riding solo without his honey baby by his side. Because of this, many fans believe that Timothy and Kylie, they are not together. But guys, you know that over here, we have always believed that it was all a major PR move from the get-go. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because if it's not giving for us, it's really not given. And I believe that when you're with someone, you don't have to be together every step of the way. Because after all, your partner is your partner, both of you aren't joined at the hip, so I mean, you're gonna also wanna have time away from each other. And I believe that it is important for people to have healthy relationships outside of the person that they're intimate with, right? So that if there's a breakup, you don't fall too far, at least you have a social circle, you know, to guide you give you comfort and it's easier for you to go through the breakup but at the same time it is so obvious that timothy and kylie's so-called relationship it is weird or it could simply be that it just just doesn't exist could be that timothy was initially paid to do a job he got his money mission has been accomplished it's over, so there's nothing else for him to do besides move on with his life and Kylie moving on with hers. Maybe Kylie wanted to send Travis Scott a message. But do you see, there's something about the Kylie Jenner woman. Every time they try to send their ex a strong message, they end up getting insulted and totally humiliated because Kim tried to send Ye a message with Pete. Look how that turned out. No, Kylie trying to send Travis Scott a message with Timothy Chalamet. Look how it's all going. Not going great, right? So, naturally, people are going to observe that something is off. Something is wrong. Let's see what's going on between these two. And people are breaking it down and realizing that something is not adding up. No, the details are as follows. Earlier this week, Kylie Jenner and her family, they had a Christmas dinner, right? It was at a restaurant in LA. I'm going to include a snippet of, you know, some photos and uh, the name of the restaurant, right? And when Kylie was leaving, somehow the paparazzis, they were able to capture you know, a snippet of her phone of her phone screen. What they realize is that she initially had Timothy Chalamet. So there was a photograph of her and Timothy on her phone screen as the screensaver and they were kissing. That photograph is no longer there. It's just her kids on her phone as the screensaver. That is normal. She's young. People switch up their screensaver from time to time, right? But what makes it so questionable about Kylie and Timothy is just all the details when you put them together like a puzzle, right? Separate, like when, when it's broken, doesn't make sense. When you put it together, it makes a lot of sense. So we can say Timothy Chalamet not being her screensaver, it's no big deal. She's young. She changes her screensaver from time to time. Perfectly normal, right? But why is it that we did not see Kylie at the Wonka London premiere? She was not on the red carpet. She was not at the one in, um, I think it was Atlanta. Or was it LA? But there was another Wonka premiere in the US. Kylie was not at the one in the United States. Neither was she at the one in London. But then Us Weekly came up with this article 
saying that Kylie was at the after party, but they chose not to take photos together. It's given the sense that the media was used to, you know, try to save face for Kylie because she's young. She loves to take photos. Who's going to be at an event at Kylie's age with their man and not wanting to take a photo? So we're not buying that. A photograph is evidence. Everyone is going to want to have that memory to save. You may not want to share it with social media. You may not want to share it with the world. But like hell, you're going to want to keep that memorabilia for yourself. And that person is going to want to keep it as well, right? So no one could premiere for London. No one could premiere for the United States. No. And further on, Timothy was not at the family dinner that they had. But let's say Timothy had to work, so he missed out on that one. Fine. Timothy also most recently attended a um, game. I'm going to include the name of the game here, guys, because right now I'm trapped in my closet, okay? I'm trying to run away from the background noises so that you guys can get, you know, the best quality audio. So I'm trapped in my closet right now, honey, okay? You see, that's how I do. That's how I go above and beyond to give you guys the best quality content. So you better be showing your girl some love for this video because she's going out there and she's making it work. She's going above and beyond. And let me tell you something, honey, you wouldn't like to see my closet because it's jam-packed with boxes and storage container. It's a hot mess in here, okay? Now, <laughs> back to what I was saying. So Timothy Chalamet was at the Pacers versus Lakers game. You see, I brought my laptop into the closet with me, honey. Okay? Okay? Your girl is working like a true journalist. Okay? <laughs> Hot mess. Hot mess. <laughs> anyway, so Timothy Chalamet was at the Pacers versus Lakers game in Las Vegas, right? But when you look at Timothy Chalamet... He's just there, no Kylie Jenner beside him, and it looks as though he's a bit absent-minded. You know when something is not right, but you're going out there and you're putting your best foot forward. And also, again, Timothy is not the over-the-top kind of excited type of guy, so, you know, his disposition is perfectly normal for him. But guys, let's keep it real. When we put these pieces of puzzles together, like, you have to admit, this cannot be a true, authentic relationship. I mean, they don't have to live together, but where do they spend time together? No matter who you're with, you're gonna go, you're gonna want to go to some event at some point in time. We know that we would see you know Kylie and Travis Scott out at games they would go to parties family events and if Timothy Chalamet is not going to the family events it's as though he's saying you know what I want nothing to do with you and your family because we know let's keep it real we have to keep it real when it comes to the Kylie Jenner's PR is their main thing. That's how they stay relevant. That's how they make their money. And if two of these saying, you know what? I don't want anything to do with you and your family because y'all ain't gonna pimp me out. Y'all ain't gonna use me like that. We have to understand that is him protecting his brand. But then when you put the pieces of the puzzles together, it does make perfect sense because at some point in time, like, the two should be seen together, especially knowing that they, as they would say, right, as Gen Z's would say, especially knowing that they popped, they popped off like that, you know, publicly. They started out with the Beyonce Renaissance World Tour. They were there all PDA and like they were obsessed with each other as though they melted into each other's skin and then 
like two or three days after that, was it? They were at the US Open, you know, just being all chitty chatty, lovey dovey. You know, so how do you go from that height to nothing? How do you go from wanting to be seen to not wanting to be seen? It has to be the case that there is absolutely nothing between them. That's what I believe at this point. But I want to hear from you guys because you know what? You guys, you're my backup crew, okay? You are my backup crew. So this is where you guys comes in. Let me know. What are your thoughts? Do you think that Timothy is not with Kylie or is just using her for sexy time? I want to hear from you because I think this is just really embarrassing if Kylie keeps claiming this man and this man is not claiming her. Now, remember, while you're at it, go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all later. Peace.